Now I will show you how to use one of those Omron switches, $10 switch of eBay. I got two of them for $20. How to connect it to, to Android 3 version 2. And we will install jars from there. It's one of the issues I noticed. There's no one uh, done it and very hard to find information about it. Um, so it's an inductive probe working with jars. Uh, here's pretty much the level. You have to make sure that you can exit the right uh, because other way you can kill your motherboard. We are using diets. I'm using 3-on-3 three three mesh for that purpose. And you have to make sure you use metal spring shape for this. Otherwise, your probe will hit your nozzle, uh, it will hit the print bed. And until um, it reaches the aluminum, or you can place the probe a bit higher, maybe it will work for you. And that's the setup I did, and that's what I like about it. Super quiet. You can actually improve, increase the speed of it, and decrease the amount of time it probes, and it will be like 15 seconds to probe before it starts. So that's the sensor I use. You can see brown is 10 to 30 volts. This is plus pretty much. Blue is our negative lead, zero volts and black is our output so um, problem is that it outputs uh, more voltage than our board can handle so we have to use a diode or optocoupler to um, avoid our board being damaged by extra voltage so i'm using diodes shot key diodes here's the here's the model of what i use i already bought from digikey 10 or they five dollars or so um, and we plug it with cathode going into the sensor. This side is going in our board. So we go blue and black, it will be connected to the Z end stop. I will show it later. And this one go to the power supply or on the board if you find any place where the stable voltage between 10 and 30 volts. So here's my motherboard. I use Creality uh, version 4.2.7. <clears throat> So I shrink wrapped everything, the black lead, there's our diet underneath of it. Uh, and polarity is very important. You have to follow polarity because in, if you will do it wrong, it will just register like it, it's enabled. So we connect it to our Z stop. The brown cable wire, I will also crimp it and connect it to plus 24 volts on the incoming connection that's it that's how you do wiring in order to make inductive probe working in a jar software we have to recompile it i will show you a difference compared to original config files that we have to make in this case i used bl touch 3 on 3 high speed so uh, this is the config file. We will compare it to my changes that I actually did in order to make sure my probe is currently working with new firmware. So here are the differences. The, one of the problems I got when I uh, flashed the software, I noticed that it's throwing me a killing screen when I'm trying to home it. And the problem was in this specific line. You have to specify the model of the board you have. Uh, next thing was pretty much to use Z minimum probe uh, install pin that we connected our probe to. After that, I disabled build touch and I enabled fixed mount probe is pretty much the inductive probe uh, thing. So uh, I have custom placement of my probe you've seen it in the video and this is the this is the location of my probe and the last one 
I adjusted my profiles. I print PLA in a different temperature and ABS also with a hundred uh, bad temperature, hundred degrees C. That's all the changes we need so far in order to make our inductive probe working. We, I uh, compile it with platform IO to compile this, the firmware. This is the only changes I made in order to make this whole thing work. And this is from uh, Marlin, Jars, GitHub repository. Everything as it was, I just copied those two files in a Marlin directory and then replace those two lines. Then we go here, I pick this motherboard, make build and flash it. If you use gyres before, you have to reset your settings before you flash it, or sometimes you will have to refresh the screen because of um, uh, you save your EEPROM changes. That's one of the things I noticed. 